this yumminess. <laughs> this is turkey, cheese, avocado, pinwheels. Mmm, so fresh and tasty. So keep on watching because I'm going to show you just how easy it is to make these fresh, tasting, delicious treats. All right. So welcome. Welcome to Debbie's Healthy Kitchen. I'm Debbie Cuevas and I'm a certified health coach and I help people just like you make major improvements in their health and wellness. So this recipe uh, requires um, a cucumber, some low sodium turkey breast, some low fat cheese, some fresh parsley, lime juice, salt and pepper, a clove of garlic, and I think that's it. Um, toothpicks. <laughs> so that's all you need, but I will be posting the complete recipe in the comments when I'm all done, so you will have this recipe. All right, so the first thing I did was I took my avocado, and I weighed it out so I'd have the right proportions, and I just mashed it with a fork. That was it. So I did that just to save time. The next thing, I'm taking my lime juice, and I'm just going to add my lime juice right in with my avocado. We're going to stir that up so it just blends in. Okay, the next thing we're gonna do is I have that clove of garlic and I just chopped it up into little tiny little pieces. And so I need my little spatula. We're just going to put that in with that avocado as well. Get all those little pieces in there. And then I'm just going to add in um, a little bit of that salt and pepper. And so all you do is just mix it together just till all those ingredients are all well blended. I love the smell of lime juice. Mm. All right, so it's nice and blended. Now, it doesn't look like a whole lot here. That's because I cut this recipe in half because I made half a batch earlier. And so, um, it actually made six of these as a half a batch. So this recipe will make 12 of those little pinwheels. Okay, so my avocado mixture is all ready to go. So I'm just gonna set that aside. And I took my cucumber, I already started preparing some of this so you could uh, see, but I just peeled the cucumber and it's a decent size. Okay, about that size. And all I did was I took a vegetable peeler, one of these uh, style, and you could use a mandolin as well. So it just depends. I just happen to have one of these. And you're just gonna slice your cucumber lengthwise. So I hope you can see, I'm gonna just move this down a little bit. So you can see, I'm just laying my cucumber slices down on a cutting board. And so I'm gonna show you how to do this. So I've got four slices, and because I've already made a half a batch, I just need two more slices. So I just lay my cucumber down, and I take my slicer, press down on it, and just slice it really thin, all the way to the edge. So it just is like this, okay? And let's see, I need one more. This one might have a few seeds in it. So, yep. All right, which is fine. Okay, so there we are. Set that aside. Okay, so now I have all six slices of my cucumber ready to go. So all we're going to do now is we're gonna take our avocado mixture and we're gonna put it right on top of those cucumber slices. I'm just going to do it. 
And I am gonna need that spatula again. I want every drop of this goodness to come out. And this is gonna be um, a complete meal, um, actually. So this recipe makes two servings. So six pinwheels is one serving. So all you're gonna do is just spread it around. It doesn't have to be perfect. It's about four tablespoons or so. Well, actually, this is about two tablespoons, four tablespoons for um, all 12 slices. All right. Pretty cinchy so far. And you can see, it's just cucumber slices with that avocado mixture put right on top. All right. So now, we're gonna take the turkey and we're just going to lay those slices right on top. And like I said, it doesn't have to be perfect. You don't have to worry about that at all. You can just piece it together the best you can because we're gonna roll these things up so no one's gonna see it anyways. All right. So, there we go. Just have my turkey slices laid right on top. And then we're gonna take your cheese, and you wanna use low-fat cheese. And I happen to have some pepper jack because I like that little extra kick. And so, but you can use any kind of low-fat cheese you'd like. So if you wanna use provolone, mozzarella, um, if you wanna use some cheddar, it's all good. Just depends on what you like. And so, let's see here. Not as much cheese, but it'll work. All right. So I just laid my cheese right on top. Okay, now the fun part comes where we're gonna roll this up. We're gonna slice it, so you'll wanna have a sharp knife and some toothpicks. Now, I ran out of toothpicks, so I wasn't sure what I was gonna use, um, because I only had three left from my previous um, deal that I made here. But I found in my cupboard these little toothpicks with the little stars on them. So I thought, why not? So I'm going to be using those. <laughs> so anyways, I'm just going to bring up the edges just a little bit because I was pressing down when I put the avocado on. And so you're going to roll this up. So you'll have to watch. And hopefully this is gonna work. <laughs> it worked fine last time. But you're gonna roll it up really t as tight as you can get it and just roll. Just roll with it, right? <laughs> All right. And a little piece of turkey tried to get away. All right, so as you can see, just rolling this up Just like that. All right, so now I have to wipe my hands real quick so I can finish this. So I'm gonna take one of those toothpicks. Well, actually, I'm gonna take six toothpicks and I'm just gonna put it right down the middle of each one of these. Now remember, this is one giant roll. Kind of reminds me of like a sushi roll in a way. And so I'm just gonna put those toothpicks in because it's gonna hold everything in place. Kind of fun. <laughs> Looks like a party, doesn't it? <laughs> All right, so now we'll take our sharp knife and we're just going to slice in between each of these cucumbers. Now these would be perfect on a hot day. Um, they make great appetizers as well, but they are quite uh, large. And so that's why you can have those for an actual meal. All right, so I'm just gonna take these and put them on a plate so you can see. 
how nice these are turning out. Oops. The other thing uh, we're gonna do is we're just going to add a little bit of parsley on top as well. All right, move this out of the way. And so we have our plate of cucumber rolls. And so I just took some fresh parsley and chopped it up. And you're just gonna sprinkle some on. It doesn't have to be all that fancy. You can tra um, transfer it to a different platter if you'd like, whatever you would like to do. But this is, works pretty good. No, I'm not worried about the mess. All right, so that's it. <laughs> look how fun, how tasty these look. Yes, so fresh, so yummy. And so now is my favorite part, of course, where I get to taste test. And so I'm just gonna take a bite because like I said, it's pretty large here. So hopefully <laughs> I don't make a huge mess because it does have avocado in it and the cucumber is a little bit slippery here, so. Bear with me. <laughs> mm. Mm -hmm. All right. So, oh my goodness. Love that flavor. Oh, yes. So, mm. <coughs> really love it with that pepper jack cheese. It just gives it that little bit of spice. And the cucumber tastes so fresh and cooling. Oh my gosh, perfect, perfect on a nice summer day. So if you enjoyed this recipe, please give me some thumbs up, uh, maybe even a little heart so I know that you love it. And feel free to share this recipe to your page so you will always have it. But if you uh, can't find it, can't copy and paste or whatever, just let me know and I'll send it over in Messenger. I'd be happy to do that. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this wonderful recipe. It's always fun to try something new. So thanks for watching and you have a great day. Bye-bye.